no amount of money or success can take the place of time spent with your family. Deuteronomy chapter 24 verse 5. If a man has recently married, he must not be sent to war or have any other duty laid on him. For one year, he is to be free to stay at home and bring happiness to the wife he has married. So, in, in those days when you marry, they don't, have, they don't allow you to go to work. They don't allow you to work. They ask you to stay home, enjoy your wife, and give your wife the happiness she deserves. Are you hearing me? Yes. It is to tell you the premium God places on family, on relationship, and on marriage. You don't marry and abandon your wife and go and think that I have provided for the home and that's it. It is not enough. To the extent that a war was so important, if you remember the story of David, when the man at the war front was brought back, called back, because he, the, David wanted the man to sleep with the wife because he had already done it and had realized that the woman was pregnant and so wanted to shift the thing to the original man. When the man came, he said, it will be a curse on me to try that thing. When people are on the war front and me, I am here having pleasure. It tells you how war at the time was so important to them. Yet, God said to them that when you marry for one solid year, you're not supposed to. So, something that is so important to the people at the time, God said, deny yourself of that one and bring pleasure and happiness to your wife. So, if you do not bring happiness to your home and especially to your wife, be careful. You have no idea what you are doing to yourself. Marriage is not meant for people who have grown. It is not meant for people who are of age. It is meant for people who are mature. It is not because people are saying, Oh, time has you know what? Men, are you listening to me? Yes, sir. We marry because we have come of age. We have matured. We, we are ready to now be responsible and take care of our home. If you deny your wife of happiness, the Lord will deal with you on that judgment day. That is how serious it is. And I don't know how else I will express this. So father was a hard-working man who delivered bread as a living to support his wife and three children. He spent all his evening after work attending classes, hoping to improve himself so that he could one day find a better playing job. Paying job sorry. Except for Sundays, father hardly ate a meal together with his family. He worked and studied very hard because he wanted to provide his family with the best money could buy. Whenever the family complained that he was not spending enough time with them, he reasoned that he was doing all this for them. But he often yearned to spend time with his family. The day came when the examination results were announced. To his joy, father had passed and with distinction too. Soon after, he was offered a good job as a senior supervisor which paid handsomely. Like a dream come true, father could now afford to provide his family with life's little luxuries like nice clothing, fine food, and vacation abroad. However, the family still did not get to see father for most of the week. He continued to work very hard, hoping to be promoted to the, promotion, to, to the position of a manager. In fact, to make himself worthy candidate for the promotion, he enrolled for another course in the Open University. Again, he was not having time for the family. However, Father's hard work paid off and he, he was promoted. Jubilantly, he decided to hire a maid to relieve his wife from her domestic task. He also felt that their three-room flat was no longer big enough. It would be nice for his family to be able to enjoy the facilities and the comfort of a bigger home. Having experienced the rewards of hard work many times before, Father resolved to feather his studies and work at being promoted again. In fact, sometimes, father had to work on Sundays entertaining clients. As expected, father's hard work paid off again and he bought a beautiful house overlooking the beach. On the first Sunday evening at their new home, father declared to his family that he, was, he had decided not to take any more courses or pursue any more promotions. From then on, he was going to devote time for his family. Unfortunately, father 
did not wake up the next morning. Having rest at a point when your body system requires it is very important. Your family is the best thing that can ever happen to you. Make them a priority by spending quality time with them. Remember, money cannot buy this one. Remember, being with them is much more precious than anything you can give. Your presence is more important than the present. The present you present to them is not as important as your presence with them. Have time for your family. See the way your children are raised. Don't leave that responsibility alone to your wife. Don't leave it to your housemates. Don't leave it to anybody. You will be accountable for how your children are raised in future before God. Be interested in them. It is important to work very hard and to earn money. It is important to add value to your education and be promoted. And ladies and gentlemen, if you do all this at the expense of your the, 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 the quality in raising the life of your children, you are failed. Imagine you have all the wealth in the world and your children have messed up. What is the use? Your children do not fear God. Your children have become wayward. Your children have no integrity. A certain house boy is now servicing your wife because you are not there. And you thought that you were bringing so much hope to make them happy. Friends, the ladies will tell you, it is not really about how much you bring hope. It is about you being there and making them feel they are worth it. May the Lord grant us understanding into this revelation in Jesus' name. Amen.